This is Carlo. Um, I'm here with Simone from uh, Woody Valley, and he's going to explain us uh, a little bit about uh, the new products from Woody Valley. So, Simone, what's okay. new? But what's new? Uh, the news for this year is the one Yeah. I try to explain you what is it the the one e. The one e is going to substitute step by step the the Arnes uh, Voyager Plus. Um, the best thing, in my opinion, we made on this is a new concept of protection. New concept uh, is, is a big word. This, this kind of concept is already existing. Is the auto inflating system, airbag auto inflating. We are doing a little bit different system. So, what is the most important in the auto inflating airbag? That it inflate fast and remain inflate for yeah. all the flight and for one, two, and three years without yeah. deformation yeah. and other modification that uh, damage the the capacity of protection. Yeah. So we invent the system with a spring, you, uh, opening the volume of the airbag. So if you, when you have to refold, you press the airbag. Okay, and you yeah. com compress the the spring, and yeah. you can refold the harness without problem. Okay, and, and yeah, that folds really compact like that as well. Exactly, like in, in a normal airbag, it's very small the the spring inside. How long is the spring inside the harness inside to give? The harness is about 27, 30 centimeters. So, when the airbag is open, you have still a half kilo of pressure. Okay. When it's closed, you have one kilo and a half yeah. of pressure to open the airbag. This is the reason why it's so long. Okay, yeah. And I noticed the spring feels very soft. It's soft. Yeah. Try to press by yourself. <laughs> yeah, I just... Yeah, at I the end you have one kilo... Yeah, it feels, feels very soft. It feels like that's, it's not too stiff and too hard on your, back, on your bum, basically. Oh, especially it's because when it's compressed, it's almost nothing, no? When it's compressed like this, it's almost nothing under your bottom. Uh, the spring is very stiff, so it's uh, undeformable. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are sure that this uh, system will be valid for a long for a long time okay. but if something happened uh, the, the construction of the airbag the concept of construction consent to us to open the airbag and change the spring mm -hmm. and uh, take out the lexan change the lexan yeah. what we want without problem because yeah. another problem of the kind of construction on the airbag is then when it's deformed it's difficult to to replace something or to repair uh, yeah. And you have a harness damage that uh, is not uh, is not protect you as before. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I have, I've got a steel spring underneath my bum, <laughs> so you know is that is there a, you know is there a safety issue there or? or well, yeah, it's safety also because the spring when it's compressed is very small. Okay. Yeah. And under the bottom there are 20 millimeters of stiff foam. Yeah. Just to protect for the volume of the spring. Okay. Just for this, so it's not dangerous for your for your bottom. Yeah. And, uh, and also it's, uh, the harness is a seat plate harness, yeah? so you have a seat plate and then the foam underneath, is that right? Uh, yes, we prefer the seat plate. Why do you prefer the seat plate? Uh, our feeling is that uh, is, is, is more stable, the harness is more stable, yeah. in the old, especially in the, in the strong condition. Sorry, another interesting thing about this harness, this is a reversible harness, yeah. there is a, um, a rucksack inside, but if you look at the harness, it seems a normal harness. Yeah, uh, looks, very nice. looks very nice. Exactly, because we divide uh, normally, if you remember, like for example on the Voyager Plus or on several har other harness on the market, where in fly, the, the volume of the rucksack became the part of the harness. Yeah. So in this case, you have this big ball on the back. So when you make the project of the harness, you have to keep in mind that, for example, the base of the harness is the, is the top of the airbed. So you have to find a compromise between the volume of the airbed and the volume of the rucksack. Yeah. Uh, in this case, having the rucksack separate by the, by the airbed, you can uh, project these two important parts separately. So we give the shape that we want to the rucksack and, uh, um, and we give the shape that we want to the airbed. No? In fact, if you look, in this case, the base of the airbag is not the base of the rucksack. It's completely separate. You okay. have the place for uh, the, um, the for the camel bag, yes, that you can system, yeah. hang here, so it's not gravity uh, over over the over the harness, mm -hmm. over the airbag that stay under there. Yeah. Normal yeah. pocket, uh, zip pocket on one side, elastic pocket on the on the other side, mm -hmm. and uh, what else? The system of closing for the uh, bridle for the rescue is made with a zip. 
so it's much cleaner than the old system with uh, uh, with Velcro. Okay. Yeah. Um, reverse the harness. Yeah. And and uh, he's showing how to do. You open the the, the rucksack. Yeah. You reverse the harness in this way. But yep. when you have the rescue inside, the, yeah. the Lexan remain around the rescue, yeah. so you, you don't damage the, the shape of the Lexan. And then you put the, gli the glider over. Yeah. The Lexan is turned around the glider, as we made now, so also this is not damaged by, by a big, uh, thin angle. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> sorry really sorry yeah. for my bad English. <laughs> and, and then you... So you don't have a sharp angle. It's, you have a... Exactly. Yeah, you have to be more careful. Yeah, uh, a more gradual curve so that it's better for the material. Exactly. Yeah. But as I told you, anyway, it's possible to substitute if something happened. Okay. Oh, so that's great. So if something over time and exactly. wear and tear, it might get, you can replace it. Yes, we can replace it. But uh, as you can see, you have to keep pressure on the, on the, on the, yeah. Yeah, on the spring yes. because you have the spring that push but when you close the zip then uh, then remain of course and then you have the place for the for your jacket for your helmet uh, mm. there is the compression system on the side we choose to make the compression system out of the of the zip so uh, it it's separate you can open the zip uh, without open the compression system okay and then uh, we have this one this long uh, pocket for the stick yeah. Because if you don't if you're not using for walking sticks yeah walking stick yes yeah, sorry walking sticks, yeah. um, well, what else a pocket for a uh, bottle let's have a maybe have a look at the padding on the back it looks really nicely padded it's really uh, secure, yeah. see but um, see this is a system that we experienced for a few years on the voyager plus mm -hmm. in okay. fact we, we are using this system that uh, is very comfortable i think for four years so why not to continue to use it's working well yeah. here do we have the opening to insert uh, your name or something for example if you go with the lift uh, mm -hmm. now it's not full inflated so sorry not uh, full of stuff because there yeah. is other place there and looks and, and voila yeah it does <laughs> looks that looks like a very nice pack um, and just the, the, the name, why need? It's a several years that we use the name with the X in front. X rated, X Alp, X over, yeah. X act in the past. Mm -hmm. So we was thinking to uh, a new, how to say, uh, a, a new way to follow for a few names, no? Yeah, yeah and new then direction. A, a new maybe. direction, yeah. thank you. And so we was looking in the, we were thinking what to do, and we found in the Indian languages, American Indian languages, we found some good names for a uh, name of bird, uh, wind, uh, uh, sun, uh, something like this. So we have the Wani, we have the Aska, and we have other few good names that we can use. Uh. Where does the name Woody Valley come from? A lot of pilots say, <laughs> where does that name come from? This is a long story. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, when we was flying, but we was not a producer of harnesses, mm -hmm. um, my teacher for the hang gliding had a dog. The name was uh, Woody. Okay. And this dog was our mascot. Every mm -hmm. time he come with us uh, in, to the takeoff and then running down to the landing, mm -hmm. and uh, and so when this dog is dead, okay, uh, in a, in a romantic way we can say, uh, he he put the how to say when you put the uh, under under the ground you bury the dog. So, the so dog a sent, it was a sentimental thing. Uh, that exactly. You did, yeah, in the, in this valley where we going to fly, 30 years ago. Uh. And so we call this valley Woody Valley. When is born the first uh, club in this area, mm -hmm. we call the club Woody Valley. <laughs> okay. When we start with the company, the club was just closed because uh, it arrived a new bigger one uh, mm -hmm. altogether. And so we, we thought, ah, this name is well known around Italy because yep. uh, we made competition and so on. Mm -hmm. So why not to use this name that is no more used by the, the club? And then we start with Woody Valley name. This is the origin, it's the name of the dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. What a great story. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay, well, that's great. Uh, thanks, Amani. That's a Excellent. really nice uh, introduction, uh, explanation for the Wani, and uh, a nice story about uh, Woody Valley as well. So uh, thank you. it's been really nice speaking to you. Thank you. Thanks to you. Can you sit on the harness and then uh, use it to, to like launch you into the air with the, with the spring? <laughs> <laughs> we need a little bit stronger to swing, I think. <laughs>